Oh my god. Oh the run continues. My personal run anyway. Everton. Four visits. Two defeats, two draws. My god, this place is bad news for me. It really is. I went into this game today and everyone well not everyone, but a few people coming at me. Adam, two two. Why so negative? Why so negative on the United Stand, Adam? Well, I've seen a lot this season already. That's where I get my predictions from. I know what these players are. I know what they're worth. I know how much they're going to give. Yeah, there's the hope before the game that they're going to be different this time. But every single week they come back and they let us down. Why am I so negative in terms of thinking United can't get result at Goodison Park? A team that's got one win in eight, by the way. We had three wins in eight. That's why I thought it was going to be a draw today. Also, Watford lost. Burnley drew. Yeah, who's the other one? Norwich. Yeah, we got a 1-0 win against them here at Everton today. That's the bottom four teams in our league, ladies and gentlemen. One win. Yeah. Have we scored more than one goal in any of them games? No, we've not. We've still got to score any at all. We're lucky if we get a goal. We're lucky if we create a chance at the moment. Well, Franjic spoke about commitment, physicality, desire, attitude, mentality. I'm a big advocate for mentality. You all know that. And for me, today, the attitude, first 20 minutes, looked like we were the better team because we had better players on the pitch and we had better players on the end of the, at the end of the pitch, at the end of the game, sorry, today as well. But if them players don't want to have that attitude and have that commitment to what Ralph wants, then we're going to get results like that and we're going to keep on getting results like that. This team has completely checked out. They're already on the fourth holiday. They're already on the fourth holiday of the season right now. You know what I mean? How many times have they been off in Dubai this season? Hey, how many times have they been off this season? Yeah, and now they're off again already. And it's on the pitch. It's happening on the pitch. The fact that we are, yeah, just let these Everton fans have their day right now in the back. Yep. That's it. Yep. We've already seen you, mate. Well done. You are going to stay up. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no one's crying. You're a better team. You're going to stay up. <laughs> He's crying. Muppets. <laughs> God, yeah. That's what you get as an away fan United. You've got to take the stick and we're getting plenty of it and we deserve it let's be fair what i seen walking off the pitch there today in red shirts was an absolute disgrace absolute disgrace the fact that i've just said to that everton fan then well you're the better team that team was absolute crap today from everton they were diabolical they were poor but let's be fair they were better than us and that's where we are right now if we cannot match everton's desire to win a football game they played Burnley in the week. They were knackered. They played that whole game for 70 minutes there from scoring that goal on adrenaline alone. They couldn't string two passes together, but we couldn't cope with how crap they were. That's how bad we are. It is absolutely diabolical, this football club at the moment. I'm hearing Ronaldo has taken a phone out of a fan's hands there and smashed it on the floor. I'm looking at the whole coaching staff, the whole playing staff, walking off that pitch today and not even looking at the away fans. Tunnel vision. The one big fear that the United players had today was the fact that they've moved the tunnel now for the away team and they have to walk past the away fans. They walk past the away fans, yeah, that's about it. With their heads down in disgust, not even giving one ounce of appreciation to the fans that have been put through absolute garbage all season. Absolute garbage, that's what it's been all season. It's not got any better and I don't think it's going to get any better. I'm looking at Norwich next week and I'm going, it's done. I, I, I'm struggling to, I'm struggling to see United get a, get anything from Norwich at Old Trafford. I don't know what's worse, the way are at home at the moment. But honestly, I'm looking at it and I'm going, United right now, it don't matter who they're playing, uh, it's just going to be the same old, same old. United fans are singing there, Glazers out, we want Glazers out. The Glazers have got nothing to do with what happened on that pitch there today because we were playing a relegation for the team in Everton and we could not get up for that. It was Manchester against Liverpool, could not get up for it. And you've just seen there Everton fans walking past, giving us stick and everything like that. They deserve their day and they're having many days like that. That's them, what they done, Watford. I just said it before, teams in the bottom in relegation fight in the relegation zone this season look at what they've taken from us you go back to what Newcastle you go back to Watford points off us Watford have taken four of us Everton have taken four of us this is a team that couldn't score this is a team that's been shipping goals for fun 
We've got one of the greatest goal scorers of all time in our team, in Ronaldo. We can't get one shot on target in the second half. I think maybe Pogba scraped that and got the stats up in that department. But honestly, looking at it now, and I've said it time after time after time, this is worse than David Moyes' season. It is worse than David Moyes' season. And then my Wii fans there today were having none of it. The reception that them players are going to get when they walk off that pitch was, well, it was what I expected, to be honest, because I could hear the moans and groans through the game. This now has got to a stage where the disconnect between the fans and the players is the worst it's ever been. And it is. It was bad against Watford when Ollie came over and it kicked off there. But here today, this is a bunch of players right now, but I don't think this fan base could give a toss about if any one of them left. No one would be fighting. You can cling on to what you want about your favourite player this and favourite player that, but right now there's no team in here. I think if I asked everyone right now, would you play the under-23s for the rest of this season, they'd all jump at the opportunity. That's where this fan base is, and that's just talking to everyone outside here. That's where it is. There'd be more desire there. You know what I mean? We've got, we've got Hannibal on the bench there today, and I said this in the show the other day, there's no point in him being there. Great day out. Great experience for him, but he's never going to get on that pitch because it's been dictated to who walks and comes on that pitch. Now, you can see Ralph fighting the system. Ralph is fighting what goes on at United and how United have run by not playing the likes of Lingard, by physically having to drag Rashford off the pitch because he was diabolical again. He had his two moments where his efforts on goal, well done. But past that, useless. Then Bruno starts losing it in the second half, like he always does when it gets too much. Ronaldo's coming too deep, no connection, no... no. Oh, there's, there's nothing there at all in terms of togetherness, direction or anything. There's no plan, there's no system. And Ralph said formations, tactics go out the window. More importantly, it's about desire, the mentality of these players. The mentality of these players is that they want this season over and they want to be on the beach. That's where it is. That's where it is with this team right now. And guys, it's probably an expected feeling I've got right now, but one I know isn't going to change very soon is a, the biggest concern out of all of this. It is really concerning where this football club is right now. And to be fair, I, like I think Ryan said on his fan, fan vlog, honestly, I would just play the young. I would play the youth team right now. I don't care about this first team. They can all, after what they've done and how they treated the fans there today as well, on the pitch and walking off it. For me, they got no respect from this fan base right now. They won't be getting applauded from me. It's all right coming over clapping the fans when you've won a game, but to not applaud the fans as you're walking past them, like you have to physically walk 10 feet past the fans, show a little bit of appreciation, not one, not one. And for me, it shows exactly where we're at and where this football club and football team especially is at right now. Void of any desire to play for this shirt. Guys, that's it. There's nothing else more I can say. Another, unfortunately, similar fan vlog to the rest. Another bad away day. I'm sure there's a few more to come over these next few weeks, but that's what they're putting us through. Living hope, but I ain't got much of that anymore either. Guys, cheers for watching. Like, share and subscribe as always. Another one gone.